Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Karis. On this channel, my goal is to help young women overcome perfection, kill stigmas, and most importantly, embrace your trauma. So if that kind of content sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that red subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. So this video is all about loneliness. Um, I asked my Instagram followers if they have ever struggled with loneliness and I think 92% of them said yes um, and then I asked them if they wanted me to do a video over it um, and I think 98% um, of them said yes so first of all if you have not followed me on Instagram yet make sure you do so because a lot of the times I do ask uh, my audience on Instagram as to like what kind of videos they would like to see from me um, but going back to the topic of loneliness, that is something I have personally struggled with. And I didn't start struggling with it until I got to my sophomore year, um, no, my freshman year, second semester of college. So growing up, I always had like a couple really good friends um, that kind of got me through high school and middle school. I never really felt super lonely throughout um, high school or middle school. And I was also very involved in sports as well as clubs and organizations um, and then whenever I got to college I played volleyball my first semester and my roommate and I were super close so I didn't really feel lonely during that season of life however I decided to transfer schools my second semester of my freshman year and that was when I first experienced the feeling of loneliness. And the crazy part is I just was not prepared for this season of loneliness because one I always had a pretty easy time making friends and when I got to the school everybody was nice everybody was friendly um, but I just didn't feel like I had found somebody that I could truly connect with and I came across this very relatable quote recently and it said loneliness is the absence of a connection not people and that was so true in my situation i had people all around me i lived in the dorms there was a whole bunch of girls on my floor but somehow i still felt so lonely i remember i just dreaded going to the cafeteria because i wasn't even sure who i was going to sit with um i got up went to classes came back to my dorms sat on my phone i just felt like i really didn't have a purpose it was so weird and in the middle of that it was winter and so winter is just like pretty depressing anyways <laughs> um but i just remember crying a lot during this season and but the people around me like would have never ever guessed that i was struggling with loneliness because when people did come around me i would put a smile on my face and pretend like everything was okay so Throughout this video, I am going to share with you what I did to get over this season, this season of life. And I want to reiterate, I am not telling you, you must do this, 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 and this to get over your loneliness. And if you do this, then everything is gonna be fixed. No, like I'm not giving you a quick fix. I am just here to share my experience with you um, to let you know, one, you're not alone, and then two, what are the things that you can do right now to make this season of life a little less depressing. So I am going to share with you four things that I did to help me kind of get over this season of life. Now the very last thing that I'm going to share with you is hands down the most important point. So make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end. So the very first thing I recommend is just let yourself feel and this was a very weird concept for me at first because i don't know why but in my head i always thought like if i felt any kind of loneliness depression any kind of sadness i was like okay no i need to push those feelings away and just like choose joy and be, be happy and go distract myself and that's that that does not fix the issue like in this moment let yourself realize you are sad you're not okay and you're not going to just give yourself quick fixes like going out and trying to party it away or trying to distract yourself by being on your phone all the time because at the end of the day that does not get to the root of things i think the person that really helped me realize like that it's okay to feel was my boyfriend um i had just started dating him 
during that season of life and he is just very in tune with his emotions and is just like very willing to sit with um, people and just listen and I remember like I didn't even know I was feeling half the things until I started talking to him and letting him know like oh like I'm actually really sad and he would sit there and let me know like it's okay like it's okay to be sad you don't have to always be super happy you don't have to go out of your way to make sure everybody around you is doing good like you just have to be you and that was like such a huge freedom because it helped me realize that first of all I'm not okay and second of all I don't have to be okay it's okay not to be okay I know crazy thought <laughs> the second thing I did was I went to counseling now two years ago if you would have asked me if I would go to counseling I would have laughed at your face and said no because <laughs> at that point I did not really believe in counselors I thought the people who went to them were weak and that they couldn't deal with their own problems um, and I just thought it was so odd like to go to a random stranger and just tell them all your problems but at that time I was just so desperate and I finally was like well my campus has free counseling I really am not doing good, so I guess I may as well check them out. And I am so, so, so glad I did because through that counseling, I was able to understand why I was feeling the way I was feeling um, and how to cope with those feelings. And I was also just able to understand like some very deep rooted problems that I had that I never even knew I was struggling with. Um, through counseling, I was able to just figure out how to be okay with not having a whole bunch of friends, how to be okay with not needing validation from people. Um, and I'm not gonna say I went to two counseling appointments and all was well, like no, it's a continuous process. It's been two years and I still do counseling. But I am finally at a place where I don't feel as lonely. Um, and I truly don't think I could have gotten to that place if I hadn't taken that step to go to counseling and figure out what was truly deep down hurting inside of me. So maybe counseling is not an option for you. And I completely understand because I know counseling can be really hard to afford. Um, so in this part of the video, I just want to talk about just a few practical things that you can do that you might find helpful and the first thing is i reached out to old friends and family so i remember i would call my high school friend and mainly my college friend um, from my previous college and for those moments i was on the phone with them i just felt like i had a community once again and it just felt good to be able to talk to somebody that i was truly connecting with and then I would call my mom like once a week and that was always nice just to talk to her because um, even though I felt like I don't really have anybody around me at the moment that truly understood me I knew that deep down like I at least have my mom and that was always a good feeling um, another thing I recommend is just try to reach out to people around you I know when you're in college especially it feels like everybody is doing good except for you and I quickly realized that actually was not true because one of my best friends I have now, um, her and I connected over the fact that in the previous semesters we had no friends and we felt very lonely. Like she was going through the same type of situation where she just felt very down and depressed because she didn't have friends and she would actually go home like every single weekend. And I remember I went to her room and I was like, hey, like, I love your room, it's so cute. And um, I just wanna let you know, like, I would love to get to know you more. And that conversation led to us just being really open with one another and now we're best friends. And so just reach out to somebody, even if you don't think they want to be your friend, you don't know. Maybe they also struggle with the same thing that you struggle So really quickly, before I move on to the very last tip, I just wanna say, if you are enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. But like I said in the beginning of the video, the very last tip I have for you is super important. And that is embrace this season of life. 
And I know that is the very last thing we want to do because who wants to just sit around and be like, oh, I'm so thankful I'm lonely. Like, no, nobody wants to do that. However, when I look back to that time of my life, I have realized like I learned a lot through that period. And because I went through that season of life, I have so much more compassion for others who feel lonely. Before, I never really understood when people talked about like having trouble making friends or not having friends because I was like, just be personable, it's not that hard. But it is that hard and we don't understand like the struggles people are going through. Um, and another reason that I encourage you to embrace this season of life is because it could reveal to you some other things that you might be struggling with. Personally, I remember I had a lot more time just to think about my emotions um, because I wasn't as distracted. And a lot of the trauma that I endured as a young girl just kind of started coming to the forefront of my brain. And before, when stuff like that would happen, I would just be like, oh, I'm just gonna go hang out with people so I don't have to think about it. But during this season of life, I remember thinking a lot about my trauma um, when I was in Ethiopia. Um, if you don't know, I am adopted from Ethiopia and um, I went through a lot of childhood trauma that I didn't realize was really affecting me until I went through that season of loneliness where I actually sat down and thought about it. And as I went through counseling, I realized it wasn't that I was struggling just because I didn't have friends, it was more so I was struggling because I was trying to work through the deep-rooted traumas that was in me. And if I hadn't gone through that season of life, I don't think I would have ever made time to deal with that part of my story. So, I know it's hard right now, and I know it's not fun to have absolutely nobody around you or to feel like nobody cares um, but you are going to become a better person because of this you're going to be so much more understanding of others pains you're going to be a lot more compassionate and you're going to get out of this season of life stronger than what you were before this season of life so yeah that is it I don't know if these tips are helpful. <laughs> I hope they are. Um, just know that you're not alone. And the main thing I want out of this channel is for us all to come together and encourage each other. So if you are somebody who is struggling with loneliness right now, comment down below. Let me know. Let us know what it is you're struggling with. Um, and I would love to just encourage you through the comments or you can even message me on Instagram. I will have my Instagram linked down below um, and I will be somebody you can talk to. So yeah, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want. Um, and until next time, bye!